fight with myself and Hamza, boom. And if he keeps winning, I think that that's that's a fourth fight for sure. If we want to fight, of course I want to fight with him. He's a bit tough guy, but not my level. I'm gonna go and knock him out. He said it himself. He put himself there. He said himself, I have something he wants, and he's coming to take it. So when you step into my cage, we have to go to work. I'm gonna smash his face on the ground. Now, if you wanna go like stand up, I'm gonna knock him out. I'll give you a whole training camp. I guarantee you, you won't sign on that dotted line because this time I'm gonna finish your ass. But one thing I have to say is taking what from who? My mindset was gonna go in and finish him first round. We talking now, so tomorrow night we gonna talk in that octagon. I don't care, I wanna smash everybody. I come here to fuck everybody, no? I'm gonna take it over now. I'm ready today, tomorrow. Once I step in there, you know, I've always said it, my job is to go in there and dominate. If I wanna keep the fight standing, I'm gonna keep the fight standing. It's, uh, if I wanna take him down, I'm gonna take him down. It's just, you know, you get to this point at the end where everyone's like, oh, the game plan, game plan. Okay, that goes out the window. When you start exchanging fisticuffs, it's just like, okay, my will versus your will, and whatever you give me, I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna exploit it. And soon, I'm gonna be pound for pound number one. I'm gonna be champion. I have eight fights, eight finish. I destroyed everybody. I'm gonna do this. Next fight also. The whole world has wanted that man's assassination, and tomorrow night, I get to be the guy to drill the, whole, the nails in the coffin. Tune in. Give me champion, 84 kilos, 77 kilos. I'm gonna smash both, same day. He's a fighter, Hamza's a fighter, and I'm a fighter. At the end of the day, you can't run away from, like I said, I fight these guys hard, not their weight. You know, I, I've been able to deal with middleweights in the gym, and, and sometimes light heavyweights in the gym. So, you know, for me, it's not necessarily the weight, but, you know, if he wants a shot at that welterweight strap, you kind of have to, you know, give a little bit and show that hey i can get down here yeah. so you know if he's able to do it yeah potentially and if it's up at a weight yeah potentially as well hard punches and maybe knock him out so if he goes down like so meet him you know that's when ground and pound and smash i don't know i don't have some plans so all the fights is like that Who do training with me, they everybody know how how is my level. I gonna smash everybody. One hundred percent. Do I think I'm the best in the division? Absolutely. Nobody can stop me, brother. When you see somebody stop me. Stop with my takedowns, bro. It's, it's not possible, bro. Now I look back, I remember when I was just here, to 2012, I didn't really know how to strike or do anything like that. Being with Rashad, living with Rashad Evans and, and thinking I would get to a certain point in this sport one day. And so now looking back on all that and that whole journey, mm -hmm. it's like, man, okay, I've learned so much and I know how to deal with all of these things. So just reflecting on that just makes me feel so good. And when I go in the gym, it just makes me feel re reinvigorated when I'm in there. I'm telling you guys right now, the reason I'm the best in the world is because my mind is stronger than everyone in the division. I didn't show my boxing. I have a very good boxing. Uh, maybe you see my knockouts. I when I first fight, I did only striking. I, some, sometimes my coach say, take him down and I smash him. I have to do this. I listen to my coach. Is my coach tell him knock him out? I'm gonna knock him out.
all excited about it and uh, I'm excited about it and you know, hopefully uh, he's excited about it. Just wanna fight bro. Fight, fight, fight. I love this shit bro. I'm here and to fight and make money and be happy and give this shit to you guys. Did his homework, it's gonna be a spectacular fight. If he didn't, it's gonna be a short night. funnest most in you know intense fight that really makes me feel that yeah and you know there's, there's a couple fight that's the fight right there i like to fight like, in the cage and smash somebody it's too easy <laughs> yeah, too easy i do smash somebody you get money brother it's <laughs> perfect for me my job to take their soul. That's essentially what I want. So whatever he gives me, I'm gonna take. And uh, like I said, if he did his homework, it's gonna be a good fight. But if he didn't, it's gonna be a short night. I'm gonna finish everybody, everybody. I'm gonna, I always look at for finish. And smash somebody, knock him out, like, ah, like I did all my fights. I'm always capable of that. That's just, you know, I'm always capable of dominating. But then it comes down to mentally, are you, I know where I'm at. I know the level at which I still function and where I can. I'm still growing in the sport. As crazy as it is to say, I'm still growing in the sport. So, you know, I'm uh, excited to see what's next. If I kill everybody, what are you going to do? <laughs> you have to be, I have to be for title soon. I'm in pretty good shape. I mean, I can fight relatively quickly if I wanted to, but why rush it? I'm still learning, you know, working on sharpening new tools. So, you know, I'm liking that right now. So, you know, there's no real time frame, but I can fight relatively quickly. I don't think somebody gonna be for me problem. I'm gonna beat everybody like I did today. I promise you guys. So you guys get to come here and, enter and, and be entertained by us. But a lot of you guys don't know what we go through in training camp just to prepare for this, just to get in here and give you guys a show. So guys, you know, much respect to the fighters. Undisputed UFC Walter White Champion of the world, Hamzad Borshmaev!